Uh, yeah, Rutgers, I think, is a program that's kind of struggling this year, similarly to Michigan. Um, you know, what are you looking at going into this matchup that maybe they do well? What what weaknesses do they have that you can exploit? I'm sorry. No, I'm not going to tell you what weaknesses they have. <laughs> but, uh, I would just let you know that, you know, they're a very good defensive team. Uh, they're very active around the ball. They cause a lot of turnovers. Um, defensively, they've always been a team uh, under Coach Pico that I've coached against that have been aggressive defensively um, and play hard and play tough and physical. So uh, with that energy and effort they're going to bring, we got to make sure that we match it. Juwan, when you play a team like Rutgers that has, has struggled this season, does it give you kind of a chance to maybe motivate the guys a little bit extra and say, hey, they're – in the same boat we are, maybe we can get this win? Well, every team that we play, I will always motivate them, whether it's Michigan State, whether it's Purdue, whether it's Rutgers. Uh, there's always preparation that goes behind it, as well as a sense of motivation. But it's not hard to motivate this group. You know, unfortunately, when you uh, have had, have, haven't had the start that you wanted, you know, those are the things that you can probably look at and say, oh, well, the group is not as uh, – is excited or uh, doesn't play with a sense of uh, urgency or motivation. Uh, that's not the case with our team. Jawan, hey, how are, how are you? Well, how are you? Good, thanks. Uh, I, Rutgers, I mean, I know I know they, they have, you know, talented players. They're well coached, but the, the statistics on the offensive side are, are not particularly good. Um, I guess given, you know, some of your struggles on defense, is there a hope this could be a game that you – maybe start to turn things around and get some confidence, you know, on that end of the floor. Well, what's your, what's your question though? Like, is, is, is there a hope that this game could be one that you uh, allows your team to get some confidence defensively given some of your struggles, you know, recently on, on, on that end of the floor? Well, like I shared with Noah, I mean, no matter who we play, you know, um, we've always do a, a, a job of preparing and uh, uh, with Rutgers, you know, and I don't look into the struggles that they having. Uh, I look and dial into, you know, what they do well uh, and also what we can do to counter or what can we take away. Uh, so with saying all that, um, I just know they're going to come in being playing with a lot of fight, a lot of energy. Uh, like I said, toughness, um, you know, they don't want this win just as bad as us. Thanks. Juwan, we don't necessarily get a chance to see practice, see what goes on outside of games. Um, so when the team's been struggling, who, who are the players uh, who have stepped up as leaders? Who, who are the guys who are keeping the team together uh, through this stretch? Well, Jace is, you know, I definitely can say him. Um, another leader has been uh, Terrence Williams. Uh, Olivier has done, you know, his part of leading. And... Uh, uh, But those three uh, consistently, I would say, has been like uh, the leaders in, in practice as well as in games. Hey, Juwan, <clears throat> uh, just following up on that, would that, that be leading vocally or maybe showing up earlier or late or how, how, how exactly? Maybe some leading, examples. Leading vocally uh, in practice. Uh, um, also, like, in you know, whenever we work on any type of like drills or uh, – going through our game plan, uh, if there is uh, something that guys are doing well or something that the guys need to work on, you know, they're always uh, in there to teach and at the same time uh, pat on the back and then most importantly hold guys accountable. And then I guess there, there were a couple of questions about the defense. I guess I wonder, have there are there maybe any questions like um, – like like big picture questions about maybe like zone and man is doing too much, like trying to simplify things or making any bigger picture changes. I don't understand any of that, Tony, what you're saying. So please clarify. Okay. I just, <clears throat> I wonder as you, as you search for uh, like maybe talking with Saudi Washington, who's, who's been in charge of the defense, just are there maybe any type of like larger change since the roster is the roster, like you, everyone's continuing to say like effort and hustle and things like, is there anything like 
just sticking to to a man like simplifying things instead of just, that that would that would help. I don't know if that if there is. Well, you know, to help you would help your own question. I, I would basically say uh, adjustments are always being made, and we always work on adjustments. And in a game of, of, of basketball, um, you know, keeping it simple is something that we've we discussed, work on, uh, and develop. But more importantly, that your identity uh, is, is the most important thing. Um, and what is your identity, and what are you working towards to develop an identity? And our identity has always been predicated on since I arrived here, uh, guarding um, by being disruptive, being the toughest, nastiest, uh, as well as bringing a certain level of effort and energy, uh, whether it's you know, being the first to hit the floor for, the, for loose balls, uh, blocking out, uh, limiting teams to one shot opportunities, contesting all shots without fouling, um, and then most importantly, communicating on the, on, on the defensive end. And um, if that's where, if you want to join the University of Michigan, we're going to truly teach you and develop that. If you don't have that, we're going to work with you and develop that. Juwan, do you think you're team has lived up to that identity this year? I'm working towards it every day. To, to follow up on that, are there any like challenges you're running into with, with trying to live up to those those standards? Oh, absolutely. There's always challenges. Um, and it's not saying that there's not effort, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, with any team and every coach go through it that's out there in co every level of coaching, whether it's in high school level, collegiate level, as well as professional level. You're going to hit challenges with with your group. Uh, you just got to stick with what you know that, that works, um, and keep developing it, and holding people accountable to buying into doing it. Does anybody have anything else before we let you go, Chico, Let you go, Coach. Um, we've been celebrating the MLK Day. We had awareness for prostate cancer, which is near and dear to us with Jay Smith. Just wondering, this this game Saturday will be our pink out game. Um, for breast cancer awareness and all that stuff. Just wanted to know, we know that it touches everyone. Just wanted to know maybe if you could share some thoughts on that before we let the media go. Well, I mean, our family, which is, you know, when I say our family, my family, the Michigan family, we've all have uh, had family members that have been an experience that, that unwelcoming, nasty disease that, um, that all, that, that it tore a lot of families apart and uh, and lost loved ones while doing it. But uh, we've also had some family members that have overcame and beat it. Um, but it's, it's nice to see that the athletic department is always doing special things to uh, put that awareness out there and supporting uh, those uh, who who have gone through, you know, these tough times of this, this bad, deadly disease. And so uh, it's not friendly to any of us. But uh, I really appreciate the athletic department stepping up and uh, doing their part to uh, put the word out there and show support. Excellent. Thanks so much for your time, Coach. We'll uh, see you tomorrow evening.